Thank you for choosing Golden Records from NCH Software. This video will show you how to connect your record or cassette player to your computer, how to get started with the Golden Records Wizard Guide, how to convert your first recording, and how to save your converted files and burn them to disk. You can also refer to the Help Manual, which is accessed by pressing F1 from the Golden Records program. To download and install Golden Records, go to the address you see on your screen. Before connecting, turn off your computer and audio hardware. If you already have a record or cassette player, you'll need an RCA to 3.5mm conversion cable to connect it to your computer. If you have records but no record player, consider purchasing a USB turntable from Alto Edge at the address displayed on your screen. Connect your record player, record player's amp, or cassette player to the blue colored analog line-in audio jack on your computer sound card using your conversion cords. If you're using a USB turntable, connect it through one of your computer's USB ports. Turn your computer on and open the Golden Records program. Setting up your recording is easy with the Golden Records Wizard Guide. Open up the wizard by clicking the wizard icon from the toolbar. The first screen tells you the wizard will help you optimize the sound of your recording. Click Next to continue. Next is the Recording Source window. Select your recording source, record or cassette. If you're converting from vinyl, select what speed the audio was recorded at. If you don't know, leave the default speed selected. If you're converting from tape reels, select the cassette option. In the bottom half of the screen, leaving all the option boxes checked will ensure you go through all the steps of the wizard. Click Next to continue. This is the recording volume calibration screen and is where you can test the audio recording volume. Start playing some music on your audio device and see where it registers on the volume meter. If you do not see any movement on the volume meter, you may need to change the sound record device or sound input channel from the pull down lists. If you have more than one sound card installed in your PC, you need to ensure the sound device is correct. Select master volume or line volume from the sound input drop down menu to adjust how loud the detected audio will record. Adjust the recording volume to suit your preference. Ideally, the sound should register in the volume detection box within the good range. Click Next to continue. Now we're at the background noise measure window, which takes a reading of the noise in between tracks. The reading taken here will be used when Golden Records auto splits the recorded file into separate tracks and must be completed for each record or cassette being recorded. Otherwise, the auto split function may not properly detect the end of tracks. Follow the directions on the screen to cue your record or cassette near the end of any track and play. Once the track has completed, click the Measure Noise Floor button. The software will take a reading and save the data. You'll know the process is complete when the program displays the floor volume on the screen. Click Next to continue. Next is the Audio Restoration Tools window, which controls the enhancement and cleanup of the recording. Whether you should apply these tools varies from recording to recording. To learn more about the restoration tools, click the Help button at the lower left corner and read how they each affect your recording and decide if they will enhance your audio. Once you are happy with the selected options, click the Next button to continue. This is the Output Format window and is where you specify how the recording will be saved. Choose the format you'd like to save in. If you'd like a copy to be made to another folder on your computer, and change the file format name from Untitled. If you selected the option to save and burn when you click Next, you'll be shown a CD and DVD settings window where you can change the settings to reflect the type of CD or DVD you'll be burning to. If you didn't select Burn when you click Next to continue, you'll have reached the Finish screen. From here, you can begin recording immediately. Recordings are made from the Recording Session window, which is accessed by clicking the Record icon from the Golden Records main window. Now, from the Recording Session window, press Record and then play your record or cassette from your audio device. Golden Records will begin recording once it detects audio. You can pause or restart your recording at any time using the corresponding control button. During recording, Golden Records will auto-split tracks into separate files based on the noise floor settings that were taken during the Wizard Guide setup. If you ever want to change this setting, click on the option icon in the upper right corner and uncheck the auto-split checkbox. Golden Records will auto-detect the end of the audio, 
but if you need to press stop, the recording will end. Completed recordings will save and be displayed in the main Windows file list. You can view completed recordings in the main window. If you want to review a recording, select the file and press play in the menu bar to bring up the play window. From here, press play to hear the recording. If you need to split your track, do it here by placing cursor points at the end of each track and clicking split file at cursor points in list. Split files are saved to your computer in either WAV or MP3 format and can be found by selecting the music folder icon from the toolbar on the main screen. If you didn't select an option to burn your recording during the wizard guide, you can always go back and burn later. Begin from the main window and select the file or files you want to burn. Click either the burn audio for CDs that can be played on any CD player or burn mp3. You may be prompted to convert the recorded files to the appropriate file type. Next, the Data DVD CD Burn Options window will appear. Change the settings for the type of CD or DVD you will be burning to and click Finish to begin burning. You've just been shown how to convert your records to CD using NCH Software's Golden Records Vinyl to CD Converter. For more information on other products by NCH Software, visit www.nchsoftware.com.